Hey, good morning everyone, Frank Valkyria, welcome to the channel, maybe it's evening, maybe it's morning, maybe it's afternoon, Google, why are you doing that? First of all, I didn't ask you, look at this, it's just, just writing everything I'm saying. You got to be kidding me, and then they say that the phone doesn't listen to you, hey Google, just please get out of my way while i'm trying to do a video thank you very much here are some details all right let's forget it let's go straight into it you're distracting me you're distracting me what i was trying to say is that today i'm on a flow of discovering band that i never heard in my life and we did la union le union and from there, from there, you quickly sent me here a new one. And this appears to be also Spanish, older, and I'm super intrigued and curious. So we're going right away. Hico de la Luna, or Hico de... P That's another Hico. But let's forget about the Hico, and let's check this Hico. Let's go. Hot chocolate. I have to say, I have, uh, I have a little bit, I didn't expect this, I didn't expect this at all. I'm not sure, this video, it's definitely early 80s. It could be, could have been done even a little bit later, maybe mid 80s. Uh, but the sound is just taking me uh, completely by surprise. I love the more magical type of um, melody with the piano and her voice that is so hairy and, and beautiful, hairy and, and, and beautiful, and sweet. I really like I really like this part of the piano after she comes you know from the from the metric of the vocals and then you got bum 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 and then now we got all orchestra in it this it really sounds like uh, it could have been a score for a movie Quite pretty. I don't know how I would define this. This is uh, quite pop, quite. Uh, it's it's like a. I don't know if this song came with this orchestral part, uh, or uh, or this is a, an adaptation later. 
for the video clip of uh, adding also the orchestra um, but I really enjoyed the piano so if there is a version that predates this one please send it over it looks like one band also that could be part of a new wave or, or the more pop side of new wave you know with synths and that kind of effect uh, uh, her voice is incredibly sweet um, and I think I, I don't know like it really feels like this could be a song for a, a fantasy movie for some reason <laughs> But also there is an element of folk in the way that she looks like one of those old filastroke, we say, like those old stories that they're passed down in generation to generation, you know, by singing those sort of lullabies, you know, uh, also gives me a little bit of that sense. Aggings going on we don't question it we are not here to judge we are just observing but definitely there is a little bit of hugging going on we don't understand that dude why he likes to hugs every hug everyone but they sure run to him they sure run to him maybe maybe just said like a board on the side that we don't see free hugs and that's it mystery solved I would say at least is very interesting and I'm intrigued I'm intrigued this song has 38 million views never heard it before I'm intrigued I'm intrigued of from uh, the, the singer uh, she's uh, just unique so uh, in, with her voice uh, and also her looks so I'm intrigued and I'm willing to explore further if you want to let's do that a new discovery Meccano or Meccano Hiko de la Luna, huh? Or Hiko de... Pa <coughs> That's another Hiko. Anyway, anyway, always spread love. If you enjoyed this reaction, you know what to do. Bell, click it. Subscribe, click it. So next time you see the cheap Gandalf here, they not only review songs, but also share his own music and his own novel, which is one for the moment. Why do I talk in the third person? I better go. Go!